This is question 32 from the GATE 2021 EC paper where we are given the following push and pop operations for registers R1, R2 and R3 with the initial data for R1 being 25 hex, R2 being 30 hex and R3 being 40 hex. After the execution, we are asked to find out what the contents of the registers are. Underneath the question, you will find the title of the NPTEL course or video relevant to this topic. So these are basically stack instructions, push and pop. The idea is that a stack, let's say, has values in it A, B and C stored in stack indexes 0, 1 and 2, right? When push happens, let's say you do push of value uh, 3 onto the stack, every stack index goes to an address below itself and the top address now is filled, that is the zero index, uh, the zero indexed address is filled with the pushed value, right? So everything goes down and 3 gets filled onto the zero index of the stack right so it's like a uh, the analogy would be like a stack of books and if you were to place another book on top of the stack that would be the zero indexed book now the idea is that initially the stack is empty initially the stack is empty and the resistors have a value 25h 30h and 40h so if you do push R1, the stack only has 25H on it. But now if you do push R2, 25H goes below and then you get 30H on the first index. And finally with push R3, you get 40, 30 and 25. Right? The registers still now have not changed their values. Now popping means to pop the top element and place it in this register. So pop 40h will overwrite r1 with 40h pop r2 means 30h gets overwritten onto r2 and finally pop r3 will overwrite r3 with the value 25h so finally the registers will have the value 40h 30h and 25h on r1 r2 and r3 respectively this corresponds to the option A, which is the correct option.